Gucci. Hey, MTV. Welcome to my crib. Anyway, the kids are sleeping, so let me show you around real quick. There's a hallway as soon as you enter that leads to the bedrooms. Shit. The first bedroom is quite adorable. It has two twin sized beds and pretty good closet size. And it has a very tropical view of two coconut trees. And next. The bedroom all the way at the end of the hallway is the master bedroom. The view in this room is the best as it is facing a creek that leads to the sea. This room is facing the west, so you can watch the sunset rise in the front and watch the sunset in the back as you go to bed. Master suite. Master suite. Master suite. Master suite. Next is the bathroom. The porch overlooks the beach. When you sit down, you can see the water clearly. Once you walk downstairs, there is a courtyard before you reach the beach. happens to be a professor at USC for Turby School of Engineering so what a small world
We had just gotten home and saw our neighbors coming back from fishing. They had also gone diving for a conch, which is a sea snail which we eat a lot over here. They had only been out for an hour before I had a bounty full of fresh fish. Before you can get to cooking the conch, you have to extract it from the shell first. This requires beating the conch and then using a sharp tool to cut it out. Yup, that slimy goodness is the conch we love so much. Next, the conch is cleaned and then ready for cooking. While we waited for the conch, the fish began to cook. The fish was most delicious, as everyone knows, fresh fish is the best. We weren't expecting to be given so much, but our neighbor sent us home with three whole fishes. The first part of cooking cracked conch is beating it till it's nice and tender, and is the reason why it's called cracked conch, as this is cracking the conch. Next, egg, cream, and salt is mixed together. and the conch is covered in it before being rolled in flour. Next is frying, and you don't want to fry it for too long or the meat will become tough. Then you add some lime juice and ketchup and enjoy. My camera was unable to pick up anything in the darkness, but I am actually filming the lights from my island that you can see at night. The island I am currently on doesn't have many lights, so it makes the night sky especially dark. Just how I like it. The only star my camera was able to pick up was this one bright dot. My mother used to tell me that once you find one star, you can see them all. Because once you find one, one by one, all the others will appear till you see all of them. And just like that, I saw all the stars in the night sky, even a shooting star. It's such a shame my camera couldn't film any of the night sky. Shot on iPhone.